Look, it's beautiful. Oh, oh, there's a new, a new subway line. Well, it's not really a subway. It's the REM, and it's a light metro in Montreal. And we're gonna, we're gonna take the first trip. Okay, there's people on the platform. I don't think we can get in. Wow, this is yeah. history. It's recent history. That's a big spider. Yeah. You here to celebrate day one, buddy? It's gonna like jump on you and kill you. This is another big spider. Oh, jeez. You see, there's a lot of big spiders here. Is that part of it, or is that just the first trip? Did that play yesterday? That is part of it. Okay. That's cool. This is, this is actually, this is a foamer seat, basically. That's really oh, it good. Is. The system map kind of shows, here's the bit that's open now, that's all that's gonna be open later. We have about 10 seconds until we hit 5.30. Will the doors close okay, like, immediately at 5.30? All right. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, it's oh, beating oh, early, it's oh, beating oh, early! <laughs> Five tw oh, it just ticked. It ticked when the doors closed. <laughs> Be there five go. seconds oh early. That's god. instant. Oh my god. <laughs> Bienvenue à bord du REM. Direction Gare Centrale. Prochaine station Du Quartier. Do you want to know a fun fact about the announcement? Sure. This is the daughter of the person who does the announcement for the Metro. Exactly. Oh, that's a, that is a fun fact. This is just like former Central, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> As it should be, like, as it should look, be. It's like an empty. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's not it's not busy at all. Not empty. Well this one not empty. These look like normal people. These are normal people. I love that. That's amazing. It's like produced oh, really well too. Panama. We're on pace with the cars. They're sort of beating us, but it's not bad. 45, 46. Uh, I can live with that. Oh, the McDonald's poutine. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is this? Oh, this is Panama. This is going to be huge. This is a really big bus transfer. Yeah. 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 It's on the, the ride. All right. It'll just be regular people, I'll bet. Yeah, but I'm curious it'll be a bunch of regular people. I guess no one. Oh, I don't. Oh. Whoa. Whoa. Oh. So like, will this live update? As no, it doesn't. Oh, it's not, it's not like the metro. No. All right. Smiles the sign. Welcome, REM users. Oh to the yeah. Yay. Yay. Montreal looks like Hong Kong from here. It's incredible. It's so smooth. It's almost like steel wheels on steel rails are smoother than rubber wheels on concrete. Hey, hey I'm sorry, but it's a cool gadget bomb. I love <laughs> gadget bomb. Oh wow, that bus lane will be redundant starting today. There's going to be no more buses using it today. Okay, not many people at this one. Which kind of makes sense. This one's more local. I'm very curious how busy this train will be. Oh my god, it's literally packed. Oh, oh my no. god. Oh, it is. Oh, I'm so glad we started where we did. Wave to them. Yes. It's Reese! Yeah. Oh, it's just packed in the front. It's just Movers. Now's the part where I get really excited. We do this whole snaky route into Montreal and it's all elevated. Here's the Via Rail like facility. Oh, this is like former Central. Wow. Oh, and what a view of the skyline. That's nuts. This is just the most incredible approach. I can't believe how amazing this is. There we go. Exo. Oh, we get to the exit? My god. Skyline view, foam review. That's ridiculous. This is so pretty. I keep saying it, but like, oh my god. Look at all this new housing. This is it, yeah. Oh, this would be a good spot for a station. Like, even though it's close, I think this will serve a lot of new stuff. You can see, like, how wide the platform gets. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, it's huge. Gauche. Okay, so Gauche. Give us the fanfare. Woo! And there it goes. That was like, that was nothing. That was like a minute of dwell. Here oh, yeah. comes the second inbound. I mean, it's not empty. Uh, third, fourth outbound trip? Fourth. Oh! Review the train. First of all, foamer seat, awesome. A zone reservey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. Really well marked priority seating. Go. All right. All right. That's the notable thing. They announced what side the doors will open on, only in French with no visual indicator. They have the same thing on the metro where it's the triples, so multiple people can hang out in the middle. Oh, this is really cool. So this is like the stroller bike luggage zone, like this little space here. What's well, actually because This is going to go to the airport eventually. That's a good point. Actually. There might not be enough luggage space for that. So it's a two-car train, but I guess technically four cars. And 
they're just it long, like articulated bits. bits. This is a very funny angle of the other train. Look, it's like, yeah. that is a delicious window view. The windows yeah. are pretty. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of yeah, shocked. Yeah, the windows are pretty dirty. I kind of like us Americans coming in complaining about these trains that are far better than most trains in the US. Uh, uh, I love the, all right. First round, tr well, not first round trip, but yes. Uh, the platform viewers are a little wider than. <laughs> They're trying to pull out more trains. They're getting into peak so, times. So the trains come out of the yard without any. Like they don't even need a person to bring them out. Yeah, the that was really completely cool. automated. It's amazing. Uh, it wouldn't be a station review. We didn't start in three, two, one. Basket. So this is the massive park and ride at Brossard. There's a, you pick, you can take your pick. There's hostile ones and there's non-hostile ones. There are many spaces here. These are the accessible spots and then there's a million electric car spots. And the whole rest of this is parking. I mean, I don't know, Sonny, what's your verdict? Do you think we gotta explore any of this? It's not this parking lot. Okay. In classic Montreal fashion, there's already a bit of a line for the ticket machines. This will be Fairgates, I believe, yes. eventually. Yes. Honestly, I think they should stick with proof of payment because there'll be a lot better capacity. Uh, right, I, it this just yeah, like, doesn't look very big. Yes, screen zero, according to the uh, thing. Do we go south or north? I mean, up, down or up? We want to go down because that's to the underpass. So this elevator serves both the drop-off platform meet. Oh, that's so great. Yeah, because this is the drop-off platform, which did have a bench on it, intriguingly. Okay. Oh, it talks. <laughs> okay, that I mean, like maybe it'll do image. something with that. Eventually. Should we go up and then down? Oh, it doesn't let you because the drop off. <laughs> That's a really fast elevator, though. <gasps> wow. Do you see how fast it opened? How, what would you rate that one? <laughs> Honestly? Well, actually the screen's broken, nine out of 10. They have tactile thingies that guide you to the platform. Cool wall here. Uh, yeah. Uh, that one, I think, is not working. We're waiting for the guy to come fix it. <laughs> okay. Zero out of ten for that one. Wow, there are like 50,000 buses up here. 600. Metro. Oh, it says Metro Bonaventure. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> That's the old terminal. If you have a bus that drops off 50 people, like how are they gonna get through fare gates here? Like it'll just be very slow. Access to the buses requires crossing this thingy on foot outdoors. Yeah, that'll be it's fun in the shelter. winter. I will complain about having to go out. I think that they could have made this inside and put doors here. What is this? Ooh, hand sanitizing? Does it work? But oh, you step on it. Oh, oh. This will be a ticket office, I guess. I'm interested if there are benches at the berths as well. Or do you feel like forced to wait here? I think these would be departure screens, but they're not on right now. And we'll go to the toilet. Thank you. There's like this long line of outdoor bus bays that are sheltered. With no benches. So in the evening peak, this might be kind of miserable. You might have people just like lining out. I will also note that most of these routes are peak only. This is going to be a very peaky station. I don't know how much ride this will get off peak. So the bike parking kind of gets shoved over here with no entrance. Well, you have to walk around. Well, it's also not really sheltered that well. Yeah, and like half of it isn't. It is nice with a bike trail that leads into it. And actually, I do see a pedestrian walking in. The screen is also not working on this. Yeah, it's just all screen zero. I mean, not to be a dirty American, but there's like no English wayfinding, which it's Montreal, I get it. They have the inactive wheelchair and then the active wheelchair. It's curious that they don't have any tactile bits guiding you to the doors. Yeah. That's a good point. We're now getting service every four minutes, but they're not using this track, so this must be reserved for when service gets before. super frequent later. Right. When like all the branches open, it will become like every 90 seconds at peak. Right. There are some benches here. They're hostile. There's honestly them, not really enough benches, I would say. But remember how frequent service is. Yeah, but like seven really minutes is still seven minutes. Is this gonna be a loading indicator eventually? Oh, I'm asking no one. I think this will eventually tell you how busy this part of the train is. I'm gonna give Brassard a seven. It's not blowing me away, but for what it is, which is a park and ride and bus terminal for peak, it does it well. Now this next stop, Duquartier, which is quite close as the crow flies, this is serving a lot of development more. Yeah. Bye. I love that. All right. So, um, same benches. Same benches. We'll see if there's more. This is something I was excited about. 
This is a crappy median highway station, but yeah. it's not crappy because of the platform screen doors. Oh, so you can hear the traffic noise, but it's yeah. not like Chicago or, or something where it's like, yeah. And this will be warm in the winter because it's enclosed. I want, we gotta do the elevator. This one also says screen zero. Why are they all screen zero? Graphic design is my passion. Graphic design. Oh, fair gates. Oh, this is the one with actual fair gates installed. Oh, this looks familiar. Oh, it's septa key. I think they're gonna need more space when the branch is open because you're gonna wanna see the next departures for each branch. So which one do we wanna start with? Uh, we'll go to port A. And this one's Dix 30. We gotta go to Dix 30. Can we talk about how the Silver Line couldn't do enclosed walkways, but this Apparently one can? It was too heavy. Well, too heavy. Montreal can do it. These are all such good elevators. Yeah. There's a ramp that goes around down here. But there's nothing actually down here. It's just marshland. It's actually very nice. It's very like pleasant shelter. for yeah. This is, very weird. is there music? I heard there's music. There's music, yeah. Hey. Five. Watch. Play. Play. Repeat. Oh, there is music. Yeah. It's quiet, but well, maybe it's because we're all screaming. But it's there. <laughs> Apparently, they're gonna destroy all this and put nice towers in instead because this is kind of crappy. But it will be better. This is better bike parking than the other station. Yeah. Like this, this is more is sheltered. Nice. I love the station love, designs though. They're the really the nice. Dead ending multi-use path right here. Yeah. I think well, you're okay, supposed so to loop around and go over the right. bridge. But that is the sharpest oh, turn I've ever right. seen. So now we're walking <laughs> over the bridge to get to Port B. 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 Transit accessible movie theater. Well, this gives you an idea of how crappy it is when there aren't platform screen doors. There's very limited bike parking up here. Okay, this is not weird. This is, this is not good. <laughs> this is bad, yeah, this is really bad. And I don't get why they wouldn't make this port C and port B the one on the other side that goes left that we'll still have to go to. This is so interesting, we just go around the station and then end up in the same mezzanine. There are as many benches on this random walkway as there are on the platform itself. Yes. I. I don't know about that. We're reaching the end of REM territory. But I've heard that this is a cool spot, so we'll check it out. Okay, this is gonna be amazing once this is all open. It's already a pretty great connection. There's no signage to the REM at all. Oh yeah, there isn't. I mean, this is definitely a work in progress, but it's pretty great. Like, this is how this suburban is transit Ashburn. should be. Notably also, the connections from this complex, some apartments, some buildings and businesses, like, it's all inside. In the winter, you don't have to step outside at all. Did you went to the All right, to Quartier, is that correct? No, not the Quartier. Do you? No, do you? Yeah, no, the Cartier. 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 Two, three, four benches, but I believe there's narrower benches than the other ones, so it might still just be two benches on the at the previous station. There's nothing this way. There's an emergency exit. I get the feeling this tiny little staircase will get very busy in the evening rush. Oh, interesting. There are, but like this is the closest one to most people. Bye. Did you see that? All the lights in the elevator turned on when I hit the button. Ah. There's actually three ticket machines, oh, wow. more than most Montreal oh, metro stations. They're so terrible. Oh, this is fun. Oh. Look at the tunnel. This one has by far the best bike parking. Just on a line in this huge tunnel. So these will be presumably planners. I'm curious where this bike path ends up. There's no I think sign it just to goes turn around. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome. There's surveillance park camera. 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 Speaking French and Spanish at the same time. You just get dumped out into this admittedly very nice neighborhood. So there'll be two bus routes that come here, and I guess most of the others will be at the bus terminal on the other side. No sign. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nice. There's signage. Perfect. Look at you. Do you want to be in the video? You're so beautiful. That's gonna make the final cut. You're in the video now. So cool. We're back at the entrance. This depressing space right now will eventually be 
artwork. And there's like a bike pass through here with parking oh, both sides for bikes. Trail. Like it keeps going. That's quite good. This is again another case where I wish they'd enclosed no. this if and this just had was doors. Toronto. This should be a full, like, enclosed walkway. And it right. kind of baffles me that it isn't. This is the bus terminal. This is pretty similar to Brossard, honestly. There's these buses that look over there. Oh, but these are all just laying over. There's like a, just a ton of layover space. Two seconds later. So the security guard in there told us that we weren't allowed to film because we weren't authorized to film their brand new bus station on day one whatever but it was nice it's like brassard but bigger and a lot of the routes run off peak and there are more routes in general so honestly quite a bit better than brassard aside from the security guards who are quite a bit meaner there are some additional shelters here oh this is just drop off so what do you uh how do you that's, pronounce that's it monday friday De seven days uh De De no debacle Oh. Then this is a huge like kiss and ride zone. This is it's all 15 like minute parking and taxis. The lines here have only gotten longer. There are no Brassard departures listed for some reason. Um, hmm. All right, this is it. So okay. is this our first REM problem? Because I, um, I think there might be some kind of delay. <laughs> Oh, that's how you uh oh. Do we know why there's a delay? No. It's an all undressing. Oh, there's a service disruption. 20 minutes right. delay. But there's okay. a train holding over there. That's not a good sign. Basically, I just had a security guard and he just said, I asked, is this like just peak hour moment and everyone will get in? And he just said, oh, it's written urgency on the screen right there. Urgence? Emergency. Urgence. Urgence. Oh, urgence. Oh. So a train just stops. Well, that's what the guy said. I can ask him. Urgent means nothing on its own, right? <laughs> it just says this Okay, they just announced the service is resuming. Resuming slowly was the phrase in the well, no, I'll take it. It looks like people are starting to give up. I don't know what their plan is. Because there aren't buses into Montreal anymore. This is the one that broke. So they're operating the train manually yes, now. Yes, they are. Oh my god. Isn't that <laughs> oh no, it's not manual. It's not manual? This actually takes okay. the crowd very well. Have we left anyone behind? Wow, Can you see? It takes the crowd really well. This is casual STM metro mode. <laughs> like, it, it people are, people are just so. charging the train. Wait, what? There are a ton of people getting off. Whoa. No, 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 I feel like there must have been... No, but if they're just expecting it to not leave, they stay for long here. Because that of was a lot of people getting off. We just checked it's Rem's recovery, Twitter account. Um, they haven't said anything for half an hour. So, uh, not very good communication. Look, it's day one, there's kinks to iron out, but the big thing is just communicate stuff. Here's a security guard. They're going to make two rows on each side of the door. Uh, okay. Attention à tous les voyageurs. Un problème technique pour interruption de service. Merci. Yeah, no, technical problem. Terrible communication. I, I, that's the big thing. They, that, like, they can have delays, but as long as they communicate it, which they're not doing very well. Oh, no. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, so is there a bus shuttle? Yes. Yeah, it's being shuttled on day one. Yes. Well, we couldn't even get well, no. <laughs> Can we stay here and just wait? Oh my God. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, or do we experience the day Miles, one bus do shuttle? Wanna, do you want to do the bus shuttle? Yeah, we can always come back. Let's go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They've got the day one interviews already. Oh that this is not getting good coverage. Oh, this is so bad. Well, uh, for what it's worth, as we go, uh, Panama gets an eight. <laughs> if the train runs at least. Oh yeah, they're talking about it. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> they're interviewing a guy in his car. Interaction of service, direction, door central. And it's knowing about, they need to know about the extent of the this thing. They're not talking about it on the ramp, they're, it's hard to find information. That's true. <laughs> it, they called it technical problems. Their we, Twitter we, account just said, Waiting on the A1 Brossard Gar Central uh -huh. Oh my god, look at the no. line. This Not is the RTL. very bad. Why do they only open the front door? It's a shuttle bus. Oh my. <laughs> so does this line wrap all the way around? Yes. Okay, so oh. we're just turbo screwed so now. So that bus is en transit, but this miles is not en transit. We've reached the double back point. 
So that's... And it's quite random because like some people decided that well, we're going to switch here. Yeah. 722. Okay, no fares, that's good. Well, I wasn't expecting to have a bus ride in this video, but here we are. So the train stuck there, is anyone on it? It looks pretty empty. And then there's our train. So remember that comment I made about the bus lane and how it won't be used anymore? Oh wow, that bus lane will be redundant starting today. Well, it's coming in handy now. What does the sign say? It says welcome ramp riders. So direct even more visible light. There's no like Here's Ill Desir so the train in there. Direction is Ross R. Interesting. Gosh, this is a very wide street now that we're in the city. There's one there. There's, there's a another one moving. there. There's another one moving? Well, yeah, this one is getting Oh, moving into the city. Okay. We are now entering, I think, the bus terminal. This is a really odd. No entrance except for buses. Yeah, we are going this way. Okay, here we go. All right, well, we get to see this bus terminal now. Thank you. Thank you. Merci. Oh, merci. Oh, jeez. Merci beaucoup. <laughs> exactly. Look at all the lines they have on the floor to, like, cue people This off. is some Port Authority crap. Well, it was a good time to get some brunch. This is the Bonaventure metro station, but we're going to Garrison Trail. No REM signage. This is a really bizarre transfer. The, and this, wait, so this is the main way to get from the metro to Garrison Trail. Yes. yes. What? So now we're here. The guy we saw earlier put a REM sticker on there. He's doing the Lord's work here. You walk through this history hallway and then I actually see REM signage. Amazing signage, outdated Amtrak logo and, and AMT, AMT, which yeah. doesn't exist anymore. Here is Gal Central, which is massive and beautiful. This is the one metro sign in the station. Oh my god. And they basically converted a couple platforms to REM okay, platforms. People are getting off from the REM though. People are getting off from there. Okay, good. So it is back in action. Why is there a... What, what is which? I, so who knows what's that way? They don't want you going that way if you already decided. They have four whole ticket machines here and two ticket offices, which I guess is actually kind of nice. Yeah, those are not tickets. Uh, oh, those are awful benches. Oh, just customer service. Okay. And they're they're not in town right now. They'll be back soon. This is the entrance that we saw earlier. Oh, you to the elevator? Yes. I mean, they're already good. Yeah, but might as well. Screen I zero. Really, I really love this squished render. We spoke too soon. This elevator is notably slower. It all doesn't talk. So this, when they put fair gates in here, it will be quite a few. Uh, it's nice to see a train again. It's busy. This platform is ludicrously wide because it's multiple tracks that they took out to build this huge thing. I love these benches. We're now at the other end. Despite not telling you that Metro's from here. What is... Oh, this is the liminal zone. So this isn't accessible. This yeah, is just stairs not. that are what? What? This is the back rooms. Okay. The biggest the back back space rooms. Space I've seen in Montreal. It's a liminal space. Okay. I'm okay. excited. Oh. What? What? Yeah. Oh. Come. You guys are right that this is the back. Why does it go so far? <laughs> because this is. This is insane. <laughs> what? Yeah. This is the back room. I are you kidding? So at this end, there is a street exit through that building, and then the metro is actually very conveniently accessed from there. We'll see in a sec. Here's the exit in like the dark bit, and it's just more back rooms through there. All right, so this is Bonaventure. Bonaventure. Bonaventure Metro Station. We are now going to follow the non-existent signage the to the rem. This one, the, the person put a sticker up. Thank you. Thank you. This sign is actually up to date. This is not a sticker. It actually says rem. So you can go that way, which just goes to the escalators to the building we were in. But let's go the weird way because it's more fun. This is kind of a backrooms ass hallway too because yeah. it's at a very slight angle up and you feel like you're just kind of off kilter when you're walking oh, through. The whole thing is the same like brick. All right, phone time so my camera died. Super old sign with the old Saint Come logo. <laughs> Still no signage, we go up these escalators. This exit has the metro doors, even sense. though there's no real need for them because it's a weather-based thing. It's All right, sweet. folks, guess in the comments which of these doors goes to the REM. <laughs> Three, two, one. Okay, so which one actually? I, I genuinely don't know. No, I won't say it. I won't say it. I think it's, I think it's these ones, right? We have to play guess the door. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yes. Yay! You, it, this feels illegal, guys. Like, this is oh, ridiculous. Aha! Uh -huh. Just here. Access rem. This is rem. really bad looking here. There will be fair gates. Oh, true. Sure. But there are no yeah. machines that I can see. Gare Central. Platform's very nice. Signage is awful. But the platform is very nice. I'll go with a light seven. Nah, that wayfinding is inexcusable. Let's go six. So our final stop will be Ile de Sors. Which is funny as like a, the slightest use, smallest stop in the right. middle of the line will be our last review. Okay, this is Il de Soir. Non, sorry. What? Il de Soir. Sister is Island. But Nuns. Yeah, Nuns. Nuns Island. French. This is the. Yeah. Well, yeah. it's the first one we saw. I was just thinking again. The only escalator we've seen Wait, is broken. Oh, Sponsored. No. Oh. I will say you get good foam reviews from here because you can just see the trains to the side platforms. I see why this one has escalators because that's a long staircase. That's but awesome. I'm gonna go review the elevator, guys. I don't know what we're doing. There are two benches here. Okay, here's the emergency exit. It kind of just takes you out. Actually, I think it does take you downstairs. I it's the first station that I, well, not like Gare Central and not like the other one. It's white and it's tiled. True. It's like ours. It wanted to represent the, the yellow is like for wheat fields to represent okay. like the rurality of the South Shore. Right. And I guess here is white for the nuns. Huh. I also really like this big open mezzanine. It's just yes. kind of pleasant. There's a couple benches in here. How many ticket machines? Two. Oh, this Ooh. is cool. Ooh. Little pedestrian area. Bike racks under the thingy. There's the connection to the Pont Champlain over there for the bike lanes. Yeah. More bike racks there. This one's a lot of bike parking. This is basically serving like a residential island. But like, yeah. it makes sense to have it. Like, but you're like, gonna go through. Look how much you're they're building here. Like, yeah, it's amazing. Surprisingly, this residential station does have a little bus terminal. There's actually a couple of routes that run on a clean 20 minute schedule all day, seven days a week, 10 minutes a peak. They just kind of serve the island like and feed into this, which is awesome. Is that a train? Yes. That's actually very, that's the noisiest I've heard it. I think it's just going over that one part because now it's like silent. They've made this bench hostile by just putting another bench on top of it. This is the other side of the station. We have kind of a death road here, but they're building some awesome stuff. I think this is going to turn into a great neighborhood. And already on this side, it's really nice and quiet, but still super dense. Back in the mezzanine, I'm going to use the elevator, which doesn't have a validator. So you can kind of just get on for free, it seems like. Like there's no validator for the elevator because all the validators are up there. Q. It's another standard elevator, but they're all good. Okay, and then this platform is basically identical. Hang on. Spiders love the REM. Like what? What is this? So what would you give you the suit? I don't know if this will be controversial. I'm gonna go nine. Oh, yeah. This is the best one. Like, it's yeah. like just so perfectly in the neighborhood. Like, the highway's here, but it's the least obtrusive of any of the stations. And it's just building great stuff around here. Bye. Thank you for the help with the French. Welcome. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> or me merci. Yeah, yeah. The, yeah. In conclusion, Rem is amazing, except when it isn't. <laughs>